In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Jerome, priest and doctor of the church. May the brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest, St. Jerome, a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. One day, when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered to the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job, and that there is no one on earth like him, blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil? But Satan answered the Lord and said, is it for nothing that Job is God-fearing? Have you not surrounded him and his family and all that he has with your protection? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his livestock are spread over the land. But now, put forth your hand and touch anything that he has, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from him from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were ploughing and the asses grazing beside them, and the Sabaeans carried them off in a raid. They put the herdsmen to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. 
while he was yet speaking, another came and said, Lightning has fallen from heaven and struck the sheep and their shepherds and consumed them. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed three columns, seized the camels, and carried them off, and put those tending them to the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, when suddenly a great wind came across the desert and smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young people, and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job began to tear his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I came forth from, you, from my mother's womb, and naked shall I go back again. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this job did not sin, nor did he say anything disrespectful of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. From you, let my judgment come. From your eyes, behold what is right, though you test my heart, searching it in the night. Though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. I call upon you, for you will answer me. O God, incline your ear to me, Hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee, from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and place it by his side, and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, 
And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against us is for us. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Let us uh, thank the Lord for gathering us in this uh, beautiful Monday afternoon as we celebrate the memorial of uh, St. Jerome, no? priest and doctor of the church. Siya po ang responsible for translating the sacred scriptures from Hebrew to Greek from Greek to Latin, yung narinig nating Vulgate. He is also known by saying that ignorance of scriptures is ignorance of Christ. But reflecting on our readings today, particularly the Gospel, I'm sure some of who are attending here and in our online are parents. And the experience of some, not all naman ho, na mga magulang, kuminsan ho, they feel sad when despite all their efforts, their children fail to practice the good behavior they have been taught. No? Sa mga paalala, sa mga mabubuting asal, kuminsan, nalulungkot ang mga magulang pag hindi ho ginagawa at sinusunod ng ating mga anak. I do believe that in our gospel for today, Jesus, the good master, had a similar prostrating experience as regards to his disciples. After training them, living with them for two to three years, he surely expe expected them to have caught his spirit and his example of generosity and cooperation. But what did he observe? They quarreled about who would be considered the greatest among them. And John tried to prevent anyone who did not belong to their group from doing any good. Indeed, even when Jesus in the washing of the feet, had given them a clear example of service and mutual caring, Luke reports that they still quarreled about places of honor, even at the Last Supper. My dear brothers and sisters, what Jesus found so hard to eradicate among his closest friends is still deeply ingrained in us today. Pride, jealousy, envy are active in family, in neighborhood, 
in school, in workplaces, in politics. Indeed, of regarding others as colleague or fellow human beings, we treat them as a competitors or enemies whom we want to undo. Cain murdered his brother Abel because he was jealous. Pride and jealousy cause us so much unhappiness and harm. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus opposes pride and jealousy. For him, we are children of God who do not eliminate, oppose, or despise each other, but collaborate with and appreciate each other. Shared joy is double joy. If we have such a mentality, we will also care for the little ones. And this will make our lives better, richer, smoother. Please stand. Let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being his beloved children. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become a true instrument in the deepening of the faith of the children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that government leaders may, should de may show deep concern for securing a better tomorrow for all children. May children be free from all forms of abuses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may teach their children proper values and provide them training and education. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may have a childlike God confidence in God, the Father who cares for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be led back to the house of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. Give us a childlike disposition for your kingdom belongs to the little ones. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest, please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Jerome, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Please stand. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.